Hello and welcome back to another webinar for Complete Anatomy. Today I'll show you how you can use Complete Anatomy as your go-to study tool. The application is more than just an interactive 3D model. It's a platform that allows you to collaborate with your peers, create and share content and build your own library. I'll show you how you can create your own group with your friends and some tips and tricks for screens and recordings. To start, let's take a look at groups. To create a group, press on the profile button on the right hand side. Then press groups in the middle. Here's where you can manage all of your groups. On the left hand side you can see two sections. My groups, so groups that I've created, and below that groups I belong to. So to create a group just press on the green, the green plus button in the middle. Here. You can add the name of your group, a description, and also an avatar. Then press Create Group. This will bring you to the next section where you can manage the group members. So here you can type the name of your friend or their email address. Just select the correct person and then press on Invite. Your friend will then get a notification that they have been invited to a group. You can also decide to make them an admin, which means that they can now edit the content in that group. Now with your group created, you can start to build your library. We'll first take a look at screens. You can think of screens as bookmarks that save the model position in a certain way. You can also think of them as articles where you can add a lot of information to a screen. All of the screens are saved in the library and always remain interactive. To save a screen, place the model in a certain way. For example, you can see here that we're showing the brain with the pain tool representing a stroke. There's also a text box that shows a definition of what a stroke is. If you're happy with the model and to save all of this with the tools, press Save Screen on the bottom right hand corner. This will bring up a window where you can name this screen. You can also add in a description and on the right hand side, under screen location, you can decide where you want to save this screen to. All of your screens are saved to your personal folder, which is called My Screens. But you can also choose to add it to any other group with other members in that group. I'll save it to my group called Study Notes. You can also choose to allocate this screen to a specific region. When happy, press Save. This saves the screen into your library. You can see here on the right hand side that the library opens up to show you that your screen has been saved. Now let's take a look at some of the screens that, that you can use to help make your own study notes. I'll open the library on the right hand side and I'll change the group to study notes along the top. So I'll scroll down through the groups and I'll select study notes. The first screen shows you the muscles of facial expression and here it includes interactive labels so when I select on these labels it brings me to the best view of that structure. This is a really easy thing to do and you can create this by making the labels one time one at a time. Here you can position the model so the structure that you want to label is nicely into focus. Then open tools, open labels and then label your first structure. Again move the model, open tools, open labels and then label your second structure and press done on the top right hand corner. So now you have two interactive labels that bring the structure into focus. The next screen shows a 3D pen. So here you can see that the 3D pen has been used to label the motor cortex in the brain. You can do this by opening tools, opening the pen tool and then making sure the 3D pen is turned on on the bottom left hand corner and you can also change the colour by pressing on the pink icon in the middle changing it to green and maybe we can make it a little bit smaller and now I can write sensory onto the somatosensory cortex. 
writing and labeling the model like this can help you learn anatomy more easily. The next screen is an example of using labels and text boxes. So here you can see that there's labels on the left hand side that show the anatomical structures of the stomach and on the right hand side there are text boxes and you can change and add fonts to the text box by double tapping on it and using the bar along the top where you can change the font size or even the color. Next is a good example of uploading images onto your screen. So here you can see that there is a rotator cuff tear as well as an MRI scan. And you can use the 2D pen to highlight on the model where this tear is and compare it to the tear on the MRI scan. The final screen I'd like to show you is taken from our undergraduate course. And this screen has a really cool feature with group labels. So as you can see on the screen that there's only arteries. However, if I select the first group label, the kidneys appear to show that these arteries in supply the kidneys. And that is because the kidneys are part of this group label. As well as the second label shows the suprarenal glands and the third label shows the diaphragm. So again, this is because these group labels include the diaphragm, even though these structures were hidden when the screen was saved. You can also view the screen description by pressing on the text box icon at the, along the top left hand corner. So here you can read your notes. All of the screens in the undergraduate courses contain ready-made notes like this. You can also edit any of your screens and you can share your screens with any other group. Let's open the library and I'll show you how to do this. As you can see at the front of each screen, there are three little green dots. If you just select on these green dots, you'll see a pop-up menu showing a copy and paste button, an edit button and a, and a delete. Select the copy and paste button if you want to share the screen with any other group. Select on the edit icon if you want to edit the screen. So here you can manipulate the model any way you like. For example, let's go ahead and add in a label. And when you're happy with your changes, just press the save slash edit screen button along the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This will also allow you to change the title and the description of that screen. If you don't want to replace the screen, you can also save it as a new screen by pressing on save new on the top left hand corner. However, if you don't want any of your changes to be saved, you can also press and hold down on the save slash edit screen button here until two options appear. And this allows you to cancel the edit. So as you can see, screens are really useful for learning anatomy and saving all of your notes. The next thing I'd like to show you is recordings. They record your interactions with the model and any tools you have on the screen. You can think of recordings as short presentations that you can share with people in your group. To start a recording, press on the record button on the bottom right hand corner. Then when you're ready, you can press the red record button here. And you can also make sure that your, the app has access to your microphone if you want to also record your voice. When you're ready, press record and you'll see along the bottom left hand corner, you can see a timeline. So this times how long your recording is. And it's also beside a green magic marker. So you can turn this on and it's essentially a pointer. To turn off the green magic marker, just deselect it and you can rotate the model again. If you want to pause or finish your recording, press on the red record button on the bottom left hand corner. This gives you three options. You can either save, what you've recorded, you can continue recording or you can delete. I'm going to save this recording by pressing the green tick and you can name the recording any way you like and also save it to any group. Just press save and this recording will save to your library. However, a really good trick with recordings is to bring screens into your recording. So pre-prepare screens that you know you want to show. For example, I'll open the library here 
and I have two screens that I want to show in our recording. I'll select the first one, then press exit on the top right hand corner. So now I can press record. I can press record here and I can interact with the model. And I can also use the green highlighter pen. I can open the library and bring in a second screen. which you can see has a text box already populated in it. I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to save it as well. I'm going to save this recording to my study notes. Press save and this recording was saved to my library. When we play back this recording, you'll see that it hasn't recorded that I've had to open the library. It just records the, trans the transitions between two screens. I'll open the library again. Now I'll change from screens to recordings on the left hand side to view the recordings and I'll select the recording just by playing it. So here you can see my interactions with the model as well as the green highlighter pen and you'll see a nice transition into the second screen. So that sums up our tips for screens and recordings for today. Now I'd like to see if I can answer any of your questions. I have a question from Krishan. I'm an anatomy student and I do a lot of PowerPoint presentations. How can I create a screen and import it into PowerPoint? Well, you don't need to export a screen in order to put it into a PowerPoint presentation or share it with your friends. As you can see here, you can share screens using Complete Anatomy to any of your friends that have the app. I have another question from Sophie. Can you please show me how you created those labels that make the structures appear? Yes, really good question. So to show you this, I'll have the model here and I'll just delete this text box and I'll use a group label for this. So let's say I want to label the deltoid muscles here. I'm going to open tools, open labels, and then to make a group label, you press and hold down on those structures. I want to get the structure at the back, so I just press save on the top right hand corner, and then done, rotate the model again. Again, to edit the group label, just press and hold down on it, add the last part of the deltoid and now I'm going to rename this group label as deltoid. Press save, press done on the top right hand corner and now what I'm going to do is turn off the muscular system by pressing and holding down on the muscular system button along the bottom. So now you can see that there are no muscles on the screen. So now what I'm going to do is save this screen just going to save this as the deltoid for now and I'm going to save it again to study notes and my screens. I'm also going to save it to the full body. So now when this screen is saved and I select on this screen and I select on the deltoid group muscle, the deltoid muscles appear. And when I tap anywhere outside of this, they disappear again. So that is how you build up structures into your screen, keeping them clear and simple, and then only when needed, you can select on the group label to bring up those structures. Thanks very much for your question. I have a question from Jeff. How many groups can I create? So the general Complete Anatomy user can create five groups, and in each of those groups, you can have five group members in them. I have a question from Martha. If you share a screen to a different group and someone changes it in that group, does it affect the original screen? And that's a really good question. When you share a screen to another group, you're essentially copying and pasting it in. So there, was, so there is no link between those two screens anymore. So someone can change the screen in one group and it won't affect the original screen in the other group. Okay, to see if there's any more questions. Okay, so I think that's all the questions we have for now. 
But thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and to our uh, newsletters. Thanks very much.